you should be most welcome to Gmedism's quick detection and tracking tutorial. In this video, I will present five simple levels of detection and tracking for your crafts. These levels do not represent the size of your craft, but represents the complexity. The more complex it will be, the more expensive it will be. If you have a more complex system, it will cost more, and you'll have to judge if it the cost is worth the benefit. The higher the level, the better the tracking and detection will be. If you have better tracking and detection, you will discover your enemies earlier and your weapons will be fired earlier and more accurately. For less complex or cheaper crafts, a lower level is of course the choice. Everything in From the Depth requires you to compare cost to benefits, which is in this case as well. Also, keep in mind that some weapons, like missiles, do not require as good bearing and accuracy for tracking as advanced cannons. Missiles usually track themselves, while cannon rely on the tracking of your crafts only. The most basic level of tracking and detection you should have is the level 1, a 360 cam with a laser tracker. This is a great choice for very simple, small and cheap crafts. It should, however, not be used if you want a craft that's very accurate with cannons. The level 2 is one 360 camera with two laser trackers and one camera tracker. The camera tracker offers great bearing and improves the accuracy of your cannons. The level 3 is a 360 camera, two laser trackers, one radar gimbal tracker, one camera gimbal tracker, and a 360 radar. The additional radar systems on this version, the level 3, makes it much more efficient at longer ranges. On level 4 we are starting to become a little bit more complex. This system offers four 90 degree cameras or a camera in every direction. One 360 radar for long range detection, two laser trackers, two camera trackers for better accuracy and one radar gimbal tracker. Much of the cost of these systems actually comes from the processing power of the AI. While these components might not be very expensive themselves, the processing power to use them are expensive. General processing cards cost a little bit and the more detection systems you have, the more processing cards you'll need which will make your AI more expensive. So make sure that your AI has the full detection capability. Your AI will complain if it has too little processing power to use the components. I'll show that to you later. This is the level 5, the most complex detection system in my little setup. It offers cameras in every direction, at least 4, and you could probably have several cameras in each direction to have redundancy. It also offers at least one radar in every coronal direction, or more if you choose to. These 90 degree radars are better, much better than the 360 radar. But having an entire radar system set up like this is of course heavy on the processing power. We also have four laser trackers the laser trackers require very little processing power and they are also very good at estimating range. While we want to have many of them for redundancy and detection well in each direction. We can of course have more than four since they are so cheap as well. In addition to our 90 degree cameras, which are much better than the 360 camera of course, and the 90 degree radars, and the laser trackers. We'll have two camera trackers. One of them looks like a telescope and one of them looks like a regular camera tracker. These have the same stats but one of them can be elevated one block upwards which is very handy for placing it in the highest point. So the view of it won't be blocked as much. You can absolutely have more than two camera trackers because they are very good at giving you the bearing of the target. 
We also have two radar trackers for better accuracy and redundancy at longer ranges. If you will face submarines or stealthy boats, you will need additional a sonar system. The most simple sonar system you can have is the 360 sonar down below. Then above that we'll have the 90 degree sonars which offer better accuracy, but is of course more expensive if you want them in every direction. Sometimes I use one 360 sonar and a 90 degree sonar in the direction where I think the enemy will appear first. Additionally, a wireless snooper on top is something that will pick up stealthy crafts like submarines as well. If you are facing high speed aircraft or will fight at night, you should have IR systems. The IR cameras are great for detecting quick vehicles and also tracking quick vehicles. If you will face fast aircrafts like jets, you will need IR system additionally on your crafts. We have the 360 IR camera which is good all around. Then we also have 90 degree IR cameras which are better. And we also have the IR camera gimbal trackers which are necessary to track fast targets. At least have a 360 IR camera and one tracker if you will face fast aircrafts or fight sometimes at night. While you can't protect trackers like radar trackers, you can protect trackers like the camera tracker. The camera tracker can be protected by a simple glass bubble. Not the best protection, but better than nothing. Radars can however be protected by putting them into a long little tube of metal that has free sight out outwards. This doesn't block any of the detection for it, but it provides great detection since it's very unlikely to get hit. You can see the 90 degree radar inside. We can protect cameras in the same way, but we can also provide a tube in front of it with the port windows, which have the same stats as metal. This will provide very good protection for your cameras. A 360 camera can be protected in a bubble like this, and it will still not block any of its sights. Cameras need clear line of sight to be able to see, but these portholes do not block the camera's line of sight in any direction, as it only counts the kernel directions. On some systems you'll need specialized detection, like this one I've made for a fast aircraft. It has one radar for long range detection, it has one 360 IR camera and two IR camera trackers. This will be great for firing cannons at somewhat close range as well as firing missiles from long range. Here you can see a camera complaining that the line of sight of the vehicle is blocked so detection is disabled. Which is of course why the camera is pointed in the wrong direction, it can't see. You'll also note that the mainframe does not have enough processing power to detection rate is reduced to 25%. And this is of course because we have a lot of detection right now. To solve that issue, we would need to add more general purpose processing cards to our AI until the level is at 100%, which is what you want. And there we go. There is my five simple levels of detection. You'll find additional notes in the description that you can copy and save if you want to use them. In any case, if this video has been helpful for you, please share it and do leave a like. Comment if any questions below. This has been your host, Jim Desm, signing out. Thank you.